Okay, it's the holiday season, and instead of treating other people, it's time to treat yourself for once, okay? I went ham on this holiday season. I got myself an M1 Max MacBook Pro, and I also got the 2021 iPad Pro because I wanted to see if an iPad is, oh, it just fell. I wanted to see if an iPad is powerful enough to edit Sony A7S III footage. So I got my crucial SSD drive right here. It uses a USB-C plug, just like the one that's on the iPad Pro. And we're gonna see if the iPad Pro can actually make some decent edits while editing raw footage from the Sony A7S III. Let's jump to it. Okay, so instead of using the app LumaFusion for video editing, that's actually, a, I think it's $30. Uh, we're going to use the VN Studio app. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a free app I found in the App Store. And we're going to see how well this app not only works with the Sony A7S III footage, but we're going to see how well it integrates with the iPad's uh, M1 chip. And overall, I just want to see the performance of the iPad in general with raw footage with that Sony camera. So we're going to go to this plus button over here. We're going to create a new project. I'm gonna go over and uh, I have my actual uh, crucial SSD drive. Okay, I'm not taking emails right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I got my crucial SSD drive right now hooked up via USB-C to the iPad. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and find that drive. Uh, here it is actually, it just popped up. And I'm gonna select some footage and uh, we're gonna import it into the project and we'll see how well it does. We're gonna mess around with some slow-mo footage and we're gonna add some cool transitions. Okay, open. It imported all of those clips, but onto the timeline. All right, so that was a little funky. I just wanted it to be like in the, in the media library, but I guess we just have all the footage here. But as you can see guys, um, this is A7S III footage and it's playing back seamlessly. Like, look at that my fully maxed out MacBook Pro from 2016 would be stuttering at this moment. I just want to see where I have some slow-mo footage. I believe this is it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to speed with that clip selected. And I'm going to just slow the clip down maybe 50%. And I love the fact that we have speed ramping and keyframes in this app. I think that's really cool. And uh, so far, I don't see any watermarks in this app either. So if you guys really want something that's, I think, almost as good as LumaFusion, this VN Studio is looking pretty legit. And here's 50% slow-mo. We get a little bit of stuttering, but I believe that might be because of the frame rate. Um, but we'll see here. <laughs> we have this guy rocking out back here, but... Overall, actually, no, it looks like I did shoot it at 60 frames. It's playing back pretty smoothly. Slightly choppier than on, on my uh, M1 Max. But as you can see, this is still editable footage. Like, I could still work with this. So we'll just select the check mark. Um, all right, and then we're just going to mess around with the overall colors of this video. I really want to see how well it messes around with some cool uh, effects here. Ooh, I like this filter. Uh, we got Polaroid right here. I really want to add some effects here to see how this will look. Okay, so we added a little filter there. Okay, let's see how well it plays back. Still nice and smooth. Cool. We don't have any fans blowing on the iPad. That's good, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is playing back pretty smoothly. Let's look at some of the real-time footage earlier. Still playing back really smoothly. The iPad's not heating up. Again, we get a lot of cool professional options in this app, such as extract audio. I can actually do that first by replacing or resetting the speed. You can see right here, we're gonna reset it. And this is probably my second time using this app, so you can see how easy it is to just edit with it. So if they made a Final Cut Pro app for iPad, I think that would kill the game, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna extract the audio. I'm just gonna delete that. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna mute it. But I like the fact that you can extract the audio and move it around to other clips. And you will never actually lose the audio clip from that clip. It always remains there, so I like that a lot. All right, let's look and see how uh, this thing will handle transitions. 
Uh, let's do a dissolve first. And look how smoothly it just plays back. This is nuts, man. Okay, let's see, push. Really easy for this thing. All right, what about the duration? Still very smooth playback here, guys. Very nice. Cool. Uh, let's see what we can do here with some trims and splits. Cool. Keyframe. Look at this, guys. Like, you have all the professional options that you would see in Final Cut Pro and LumaFusion. This is insane. Okay, what else can we do here? All right, let's look at some of the effects, actually. Filters are not technically effects, but let's see what effects we can mess around with. Slide. Oh, wow. Okay, these are like camera trick shots. <laughs> That's pretty sick. And you can actually decide where that effect happens in the clip. You know, you can drag it out so it lasts longer. You can drag it closer to the beginning so it lasts a shorter amount of time. But, I mean, this is really unique, man. This is something I would never thought would be possible on an iPad. So, yeah, I honestly thought getting an iPad would be a joke, but after I've seen a lot of other people use iPads for video editing, I was like, okay, I have 30 days to return this thing. I wanna see how well it performs. But now I don't have to take my computer on the plane with me whenever I travel and uh, to, to edit, I can just bring my iPad. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry if I'm rambling a lot because this is like my second time using this app. So this is really unique for me. And look at all the effects that we have. I mean, we don't have customizable effects like you would find on Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, but we have some really unique effects here, enough for you to edit a vlog, let's say. I think you got plenty of that um, going throughout you know, using this app, I think you have plenty of different options. I mean, you can add picture in picture. You you know, they have stock footage options as well, which is really cool. I mean, it's not the most amount of stock video options, but it's, it's enough to get you by. And like I said, you can add multiple tracks. So instead of doing uh, an image or something like that, you can actually import some other footage and place it on top. And if you notice, actually up here, you can format it for TikTok and it automatically blurs the background for you. I mean, this is really cool, guys. It automatically does all of this stuff for you. YouTube, original, four by five. It labels the social media that it's recommended for. I mean, this is a really good freaking app. So I'm gonna go back to original and uh, let me import some footage and put it on top and see how well the iPad works with that. Cool, so as you can see, we have multiple tracks on top of each other, two tracks. And uh, I think they're gonna start releasing more features on this app so you can add it in more and more tracks, you know? Uh, okay, so motion, fade. I mean, this is really freaking cool, man. Let's play it back. Really smooth work. Again, this is raw footage, I haven't touched it, so you might see some jumpy footage and all that funny stuff, but this is really cool. I wanna see if I can, okay, here we go. I can lower the opacity, and this is how you're gonna know that the iPad's working really well with this footage, is that we can see both clips stacked on top of each other I mean, let's see the playback. This is raw clips from the Sony a7S III. Look at that, both clips stacked on top of each other or one clip stacked on the other and it's still playing back smoothly at like 50% opacity. That's unique, okay? That's really unique. This is a very powerful iPad, guys. That's why they call it the iPad Pro. So I'm sticking with my iPad. I used to have an older generation iPad, but I sold it because I barely used it. But now I'm gonna start using this a lot for video editing and photo editing. Final Cut will always be my baby, so will my N1 Max MacBook Pro. But if I'm on the go, iPad Pro is the way to go. I'm rhyming a lot, which is great. So because of that, you guys should like this video and subscribe, seriously. But anyway, I just wanted to showcase this to you guys. I'm sorry that I was rambling a lot, but 
I just wanted to make a video of my reaction to how well the iPad Pro can video edit A7S III footage. So if you want to pick up your own iPad Pro, I have some affiliate links down below. They really help out the channel and uh, they have some really good deals going on right now. So uh, check it out. Let me know what you guys think and I'll link the SSD as well. All right, guys, good luck with your filmmaking journey. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Peace. Thank you.